Well, Bethlehem Church, thank you guys so much. This is our last part of Colossians. We hope this 21 days has been a blessing to you. Colossians is a rich text. Uh, I've taught through it. You can go back and look. Uh, a few years back, we did a series. And so if you want more in-depth than even we went, hopefully that will serve you well. You can look in our sermon archives. But I want to end by reading Colossians 4, 16 through 18, this last part to us. And let me give you an encouragement uh, as we end our 21 days of prayer and fasting together. And when this letter, verse 16, has been read among you, have it also read of the church of the Laodiceans, and see that you also read the letter from Laodicea, and say to Arach- uh, whoop, big name right there, Archippus, see that you fulfill the mission, uh, the ministry that you have received in the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand, Remember my chains. Grace be with you. Paul is saying he knew what he was writing from God was bigger than just what was going to be used in the church at Coloss. He knew this was a church that was exposed to all kind of hollow and deceptive philosophies, Colossians chapter 2. Uh, and he wanted to combat that with the power of the gospel, the preeminence of Jesus, that Jesus isn't just simply one thing that he's above all things that jesus isn't a priority on your list but he's preeminent over all things and he is saying that the message of the gospel that the message that's changed our life he's in chains as he writes this and it's worth continuing on for it's worth striving for Um, The way we would say it is not just start something you can't finish, but finish what you started. Paul is saying it is worth his life. It's worth the hard. It's worth the frustration. It's worth the pain to continue forward with the message of the gospel, with the life-changing message of Jesus. Uh, If you've ever run a marathon or a half marathon there's always a point where it's like if i like you you feel like you're doing really good but then you get to this kind of can i make it past this point Uh, can i keep pressing when i feel like all my energy is gone what paul is saying is the gospel is worth continuing to press forward when our emotions are failing when they escape us when we feel like we're walking uphill both ways all the time that we would press on that when 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 everything comes against us that we would continue on he's reminding us the value of finishing what is it maybe in these last 21 days that you've committed to anew and afresh what is it that god has prompted in you in 2024 uh, that has said this has got to look different than 2023 what is it for your family what's a habit what's a discipline you guys have tried to build in Uh, what is it in your weekly rhythms in your daily rhythms maybe this time with god is new for you and you've seen the fruit and the benefit of it this is 21 days this has been a crash course finish what you started right that you continue on past this we're always going to be faithful to resource you with reading plans but your daily time your 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of just time in the Word, time with the devotion, praying, journaling, continue on. You don't have to wait for us to prompt you to fast. Maybe God calls you to a season of fasting. Maybe uh, for a week or maybe it's a practice in your family that you choose a day when we all fast from technology. What is it that God's prompting in you? Right? That, that there's things that you've started this year There's thought patterns that you've began. There's habits and there's daily rhythms that you have began. Finish. That would be my encouragement. It sometimes feels like uphill. It sometimes feels like it's difficult and it's hard. Listen to me, that you would continue to finish what the gospel has began. As Paul said, he who began a good work, Philippians 1, is faithful in Christ Jesus to complete it. We love you guys, we're for you guys. Thanks for spending these 21 days with us.